How do you solve intractable inner city poverty and at the same time provide cultural enrichment to prevent isolation and stimulate deprived minds? While the Hope Collaborative combines exposure to cultural events and institutions with interactive life skill workshops. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at Suffolk University's downtown Boston studio. Executive Director and Co-Founder of the Hope Collaborative, Kevin Sheehan, is my guest. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you, Jenny. Nice to meet you and good to be here. Great to have you here. So now what motivated leaders who were in the entertainment and education business to come together to create Hope Collaborative? Terrific. So our team includes some of the top research people in youth curriculum. Uh, building uh, development programs for poor kids, limited income uh, kids around the city. Uh, our partners uh, include people from MGH and Harvard and some of the best uh, entertainment producers around the city. We're also partnered with some of the better cultural event providers. Um, our essential point of view is that 12% uh, of the Massachusetts population lives below the poverty line. It's a crisis of uh, real magnitude with over 200,000 teens and kids and 700,000 people living in poverty. So it's an urgent situation and we're here to help with innovative new kinds of solutions. All right, so let's talk about some of these solutions. Research shows that urban poverty is multi-generational. So how will you help solve this? Sure. So the neighborhoods that have poverty culture have proven through research to be intractable over decades and sometimes centuries. Um, there are many emergency service organizations there to provide uh, food and shelter for the worst off, um, but innovative solutions are now needed. FDR said uh, during the Great Depression, let's try something, let's try something uh, new. Uh, there are two core components. There's a structural component, good jobs, well-paying jobs, um, and then there's a process component, people that get get stuck in neighborhoods of, um, of, uh, of poverty mm -hmm. are shown not to have the, the process, social, emotional skill building necessary to connect to the greater community and we're here to provide those skills. Okay, so what's unique about the approach of the Hope Collaborative? Sure, so we're building uh, the first distributed learning network mm -hmm. to uh, deliver distributed learning into the neighborhoods. Part of the issue is that kids get isolated um, and people get isolated in, uh, in uh, neighborhoods that suffer from this stuff. So we're, we're setting up in community centers, we're setting up in after school programs. Tell me about some of the wor workshops that you provide. Sure, so um, the toxic stress that sets in, to just give some background, um, creates, uh, uh, the, the, the neuroscientists have, have looked at the minds of kids uh, in chaotic settings the prefrontal lobe breaks down, the neurological pathways break down. The good news is until kids are 25 years old, young adults, you can rebuild those pathways with the elements that we're missing, social emotional learning skills, leadership development skills like uh, resilience, like self-management, like self-awareness, and those are the workshops that we're piloting and bringing forward. And so what's the value to a child when they're exposed to these kind of cultural events? So we've got the workshops on one side mm -hmm. and then cultural events on the other side, right? So we're taking kids to the House of Blues, to the Museum of Science. The cultural events, interestingly, provide uh, similar effect. They're very healing. They bring um, similar uh, positive impact for kids that have not, uh, you know, connected um, in a way that uh, they potentially could. So the awe-inspiring nature of being at the House of Blues or a great museum uh, brings the same kind of stuff that social emotional learning development does as right. well. Well, Kevin, thanks for sharing a little um, bit about the Hope Collaborative with us. Really nice to be with you, Jenny. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.